Welcome guys to my channel, Popcorn and Gore, Gothic Grindhouse. We'll be starting off my 31 Days of Halloween, which has been rolling for a while anyway, but I decided to stop and do a tribute to my all-time favorite director of all time, George A. Romero. And um, his film Legacy pretty much uh, left a good impression on me uh, as an inspiring independent film director. And I uh, directed my own short films and cine features. So I just wanted to showcase some of my hand-picked horror for my 31 Days of Night of the Living Dead. Line up. Okay, starting off first will be a Creedon Collection, Night of the Living Dead. They did a pretty good job on this, and the artwork is phenomenal. Uh, it contains Night of the New Bears and uh, trailers and all the other stuff that's not on any of the other discs. So, uh, this is the first, I got a lot of copies of Night of the Living Dead, so I'll be going through the various ones that I do have, plus my 31 day hand-picked horror, uh, that I do have for this semi-featured month of Halloween. So this is the Creedon Collection. This is the Blu-ray. Artwork is phenomenal. This is some of the artwork that he did. I like how they got Bill Heinzman in the bottom in the left-hand corner there. And uh, they got Barbara at the top. So they did a good job on the artwork. Kept it that classy retro 60s uh, artwork style. So this is the Cretan Collection. And it also comes with a poster too also. And uh, the poster that you see already behind me is the gigantic poster too also. I'm a big Night of Living Day fan, as you know. And um, that poster is one of the three lined up that's on my wall. I don't even have any more space anymore because that post is so, and my walls are so finished and I don't really have any more space left. So I'm trying to create another area where I can put more posters because these posters are very, very massive. And I got six on each wall. Next up, we have the 50th anniversary of Night of the Living Dead. One of my favorites too also. Transfer is excellent. Beautifully done. Then we have Tom Savaney's cut. 1990s remake of the 68 version of Night of Living Dead. Tom Savini's amazing special effects artist, and uh, I love his work, and um, I do also have Children of the Living Dead, too, also, which is another one of his favorites. So he did this one up pretty, pretty good, starring Patricia Tallman and Bill Heisman and all the rest of them, Tom Tolles. My Night of Living Dead featurettes. Also, the complete series of Tales from the Dark Side. The Dark Side is waiting for my 31 day lineup. Tales from the Dark Side. It's an anthology horror about small tales written by George Romero and, and others. And uh, it's one of my classic staples in my collection. So I keep it in my George Romero section. So this is what I'm going over now. Just a quick little tutorial to come at y'all guys to let y'all see what is rolling on my uh, featured wheel. So that's from the dark side, complete series. I know George Romero collection is not complete unless you have Creepshow 2. One of my favorites too also. I do also have part one, but part two for me is my go-to. So I pull this one out every now and then. Creepshow 2. And I also have Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things as my 31 day hand picked. Beautifully done. Artwork is phenomenal in the box. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. Children shouldn't play with dead things. I 
Also, next up, Anthropopithecus, a.k.a. the Grim Reaper, a.k.a. Savage Island, beautifully done by Severin. And this also has a reverse slip cover to also. It's beautifully done. And there's a Severin logo at the bottom. I'm also getting to working on getting a Severn shirt too, also to go with it, so that way I can have my whole collection complete. I'm thinking about building another shelf anyway, so I'm in the process of doing that. So that'd be pretty cool to see everything all finished up once I get everything all lined up. All right, next up is Burial Ground. The Gates of Hell has opened. Beautifully done, also by Severn. And the artwork uh, for the slipcover is also amazing, too, also. I'll show y'all guys both of them together. This is the slipcover for Burial Ground. With the creepy kid on the back. Well, next to his mother. And it just has writing on the back too also. But nothing, nothing really, really special. But um, just to show you again. Barrel ground. And a slip cover for it. Alright, next up will be Zombie. They're going to eat you. Beautifully done. By Blue Underground. Transfer is amazing. And uh, it's also a uh, Blu-ray and DVD combo. To this Ultimate Collection. And I'll show you what the um, artwork looks like on the slip jacket. Because I always take some off so they won't get messed up. So that's what the artwork looks like on the slip cover. One of my favorite films too of all time too also. These guys, these are my lineup, my favorite lineup picks for my Halloween October Fest. I decided to just take a little separate time to just showcase what's my main featured on the wheels list. Rolling now. And we got Zombie. Ah, rolling. Beautifully done. Also, we have Fulci, City of the Living Dead. Another one of my favorites. And this is also a combo pack too, also. No, I'm sorry, it's a single. The other one was a combo pack. So it has like the artwork in it too, also. Let me show you what the artwork looks like on the inside. Um, doesn't have a, re it has a reversible cover too also, but still uh, I like the uh, main artwork on it. Let me show you with the cover. Looks like on the inside, you can kind of switch it around if you want. But I like the original in the front, City of the Living Dead. It's one of my all-time favorites. Then going over some of the classics too, also of my Herschel Gordon Lewis collection too. Also, he's one of my other favorite directors too, along with Al Adamson and... Um, several others but we have up front blood feast herschel gordon lewis and i also do have um also um the rest of his lineup too also gore gore girls and that's what i'm trying to bring up but uh we have blood feast and i believe this is a combo pack let's see So we have uh, Blu-ray and DVD on the inside. Yep. Bluefy done by Earl. Transfer is excellent. You know, on the inside they have some more graphic art too also.
We have Blood Feast, my Earl video. And next up, we have Wizard of Gore, another Hersher Gordon Lewis. With the amazing Montag the Magician. It's beautifully done. If y'all guys haven't seen it, you guys need to check it out. Also has some beautifully done artwork inside too also. There's the poster billing for it. Of the Wizard of Gore. And uh, the Blu-ray itself. Excellent transfer. Beautifully done by Earl. Also, guys, no Halloween is complete. I normally run this for my Halloween lineup as Halloween is rolling, like the night before, like, you know what I mean? And I just started just bringing out massive movies from the early 50s, 60s, 70s. But uh, I normally start off, just like every other year, with uh, Night of the Demons. And just throw another party. Won't you come? And this is a combo pack. Beautifully done. Contains Blu-ray and DVD, which is one of my favorites. And it comes with the original poster artwork, too, also on the inside. Uh, just show you guys what it is on the Blu-ray side. And there's the invite from Angela to come to the party. Beautifully done, beautifully done. There is again, Night of the Demons. One. Well, part one. <laughs> and to follow up to that edition, we have uh, Night of the Demons 2. Angela's throwing up a party, and she's serving Devil's Cake. I love that artwork on it, it's pretty badass. Nothing special inside, just the DVD itself. I mean, the Blu-ray itself. So nothing, nothing very, very special. But the front of the box cover makes up for it because uh, <sighs> that's really, really, really badass. Awesome, awesome. Next up. Next up, we have the children, and I believe this is a combo pack too also. Beautifully done. I'm working on getting a poster like the gigantic poster that's in front of you now. I want that poster of the children. This is the Blu-ray and the DVD combo pack. And let me show you what that poster looks like. This is what the poster is going to look like right there on that side, right there with the school bus and the kids. It is going to be, it's going to be that size like that. So I'm working on getting that. And then it'll, it'll be on one of these two sides because right now I got a lot of space. I don't have too much space to put another poster, but we will find some way to move some shit around so I can get the children in. Beautifully done. That's combo pack, Blu-ray and DVD. Children. And of course, the children is not complete unless you have Bloody Birthday. For my kind of kids slasher flicks. Beautifully done by Earl. Nothing too dramatic inside, just a few uh, embossed fonts, lettering, 
and uh, the Blu-ray itself. It's also reversible. Let me show you all what the reversible looks like. And it just has the bloody cake on the inside. So that's an awesome reversible artwork for the cake. But I like the first one with the teddy bear because the teddy bear is kind of like badass and it represents like children whenever you see like a teddy bear with like something like a knife or anything inside of it. It's like really, really, really graphic. And I think that represents the carnage of these kids more than just the damn cake. And apparently they must have thought so too because they put the same art on the actual disc. So you guys haven't seen it, you guys need to check it out. Bloody birthday. It's my 31 days pick. Also moving forward, guys, I'm a huge fan of the classic 80s too also. Uh, and I always bring out Russ Thorn, Slumber Party Massacre 1. I also have Slumber Party Massacre 2, too, also, but Slumber Party Massacre 1 I always made it because I'm a fan of uh, Russ Thorn. This one uh, pretty much set it off for me. Usually the first version of something always is like the badass. So um, I made this for my 31 Days pick, Slumber Party Massacre 1. Huge kick-ass movie. Classic kick-ass movie. Inside, beautiful artwork. On the other side, too, also there has maybe some premium cuts of it, which is not so bad. Beautifully done, beautifully done. And the artwork is reversible. If you kind of want to reverse it, it's up to you. If you kind of want to reverse it for, uh, let's see, any of those two choices. But for me, I like the original because the, the drill in his hand is kind of like the ultimate kick-ass and the way their faces look like they're really in some hot shit. So I'm probably mask of one for my 31 days lineup. Deranged. Another one of my favorites too. Also inspired by the movie Ed Gein, uh, The Butchers of Mansfield. Uh, this film got a lot of flack, but uh, to me, I think it's like awesome. And the character who played the guy who was portrayed to be Ed Gein also was amazing. And there he is right there. I love you, Mary. With the bone. I mean, this guy was like awesome. Beautifully, trans beautifully done transfer. And uh, inside, nothing pretty much special. From k &L Studios, just the actual disc. Um, hoping to see a restoration, really, really um, story about this one later on. Maybe we can get some information out of it. Uh, pretty sadly, made that a very unnatural death. It's what they have in fonts on the big screen, on the uh, large cover shot. I don't know, but maybe they'll do a real big one on this one too. Also, because this one's my all-time favorite film, The Range. Next up, combo pack also, uh, The House on Tombstone Hill, a.k.a. Dead Dudes in the House. This also has the reversal artwork too also. They had the Blu-ray and the DVD version. I didn't think about reversing it though because I like the... I like the first one, uh, the way it is uh, set up in the in the first version, like this shot right here. I like that. But if I did, I would put that one on there right there as a reversible artwork of the Dead Dudes in the House. And this is all my all-time favorite uh, collectible, um, reversible artwork, double disc collection, Blu-ray and DVD. As for the other one, just nothing special, just a little bit of um, tiling behind the DVD version of it. There it is. House on Tombstone Hill. 
Blu-ray and DVD collection re with reversible art for my 31 days pick. Also, guys, another one of my favorites, too, also, Flesh for the Beast. You had a taste. Now I want a taste. How does it feel to be the weak one, the victim, Mr. Ketchum? There it is. Looking to spend some more quality time with the girls, huh? There's Irene. There's Sandra. And then there's, there's, there's actually four of them. But the rest of the girls in the house too also. Because you got Aaron and you got the other girl too also. So uh, yeah, my 31 days pick, Fresh for the Bees. I love the artwork too also. Beautifully done by Shrek Show. Um, awesome, awesome treat. So if you guys don't have this, you better have it. No reversible artwork, just the regular. So uh, yeah. And this film will turn you inside out. And I also um, would love to mention too also that it's 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 been rolling yesterday along with... Actually, I played this along with uh, Shadow Dead Riot, which will be coming up next. But uh, yeah, it's beautifully done by Shrek Show. If you haven't seen this, you got to check it out. This movie has turned everybody inside out. And then when I was telling you next, uh, Shadow Dead Riot. Featuring the kick-ass Carla Green as the kick as kicking solitary. And uh, beautifully done also too by Shrek Show. Shadow Day Riot. Featuring also Tony Todd too, also as the evil evil shadow. You guys haven't seen it, you gotta you gotta check it out. Shadow Dead Riot. Also, I just added this as a cover too. Also, I just kind of created it because I actually just went and bought another Blu-ray jacket, empty ones, just to create this one. But I got Father's Day and uh, Zombie vs. Strippers, and I just call it my Zombie vs. Strippers Grindhouse Collection. With uh, these two, also was my thirty-one day pick, and I didn't put any artwork in it yet, but that's what I have so far in it: Father's Day and Zombie vs. Strippers. Oh, those are going to be on my new shelf, too, also. Then also, you can't have it without uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's all slotted. The first one, Leather Face. You got to have it. Briefly done inside, too. Also, the artwork is pretty nice. I got to have the house and uh, Thomas is coming through the damn house. And he ruined the damn door. But who gives a shit? And there's a shot of that ass. I like that. That was my favorite shot right there. Look at that. Beautifully done. Guys, that shot was achieved by a low angle shot. And uh, you can do also do an over, over the shoulder shot too. Also, but he went for that low angle, which makes the house look big. Because if you'd have shot it close up, um, it made the house look a little bit too up front. So what you do is you shoot it low and I uh, end up going for a low cut around her waist, which makes the house look big as she's getting to the house. It creates that atmosphere for uh suspense. Beautifully done. Toby Hooper is a motherfucking bastard. I tell you, he's a, he's a badass on this one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I do have part two, two also on VHS. Also, guys, double combo pack, double grindhouse uh, featurette, uh, don't look in the basement and then don't open the door. One of my also favorites, my 31-day lineup. And this is what it looks like. And this is the Blu-ray version and the DVD combo. Awesome. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Don't open the door and don't go in the house. There's another one also 
that I've run normally on that same wheel. But for this year, this one pretty make it. Don't open the door and don't go in the basement. But don't look in the basement. As my 31 day pick lineup. And I don't think it has um, the reversible art. Oh, but if you did, if you wanted to, you can actually reverse it if you wanted to. All it does is it has the movie posters on the back on each one. Let me show you guys. Just one of them. And all it does is it has, like I said, just the movie posters. So if you kind of wanted to reverse it and make it look kind of like retro groundhouse, you could. But other than that, you can leave it at the front where they have a double feature grindhouse. Don't look in the basement and don't open the door. Also, yesterday, guys rolled on a double feature tree. I did uh, Splatter Farms. Shout out to Mark and John Polona, Pony Brothers. And then I did a featurette with uh, Return to Splatter Farms, too, also on the same bill. Uh, this is what we have for Splatter Farms. And I think it has, uh, on the other side, uh, How to Create a Monster. The Monster Movie. On the other side, it has the famous artwork. On the other side, it has... Um, The uh, artwork booklet. Beautifully done. Splatter fun. I've been rolling this VHS video violence package for the longest time. So I've been rolling uh, video violence one and video violence two. So as my early 31 day pick, this is the 31 day lineup of my video violence collection. Uh, like I said, uh, last night's featured road, uh, return to Splat Farms and Splatter Farms. And there you have it. Splatter Farms, baby. Gotta have it in your collection. Also, no thing is not complete unless you have Channel 13, a horror anthology. Also, Mark and John Polona production. Classic. 80s. Nothing special inside, just the disc itself. Channel 13, I like how they have that virtual VHS look on the uh, disc itself. Classic badass. Channel 13, a horror anthology. Also, we have, uh, for our 31 days, we have uh, Night of the um, House of Living, uh, House of Thousand Corpses and uh, the Devil's Rejects. I always had this hooked up with uh, Night of the Living Dead for some strange reason because it starts off in this like Halloween setting. So I always start them off like that with um, going into the lab of Dr. Satan, especially with them starting off their, their very first intro that they have on Night of, I mean, House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, I kind of remind you of that, especially like when she says, what are y'all guys doing all we out here on Halloween? Y'all should be out trick or treat. Now, it has that feel of, you know, that Halloween's like, you know, approaching that 31 day. So this is, it made it for my 31 day pick, House of a Thousand Corpses. Next up, I believe it's a combo pack to also Grandmother's House. Beautifully done. And it also has the reversible artwork to also. So if you kind of want to reverse it, it's on you. But it contains uh, the Blu-ray and DVD. And here's what the uh, reversible looks like on the Grandmother's House. On the first one. Behind the Blu-ray, and this is behind the DVD, which is just the embossed uh, wording. 
But yeah, if you want to reverse, if you want to reverse some of the guys haven't seen it, you gotta check this out. Grandma's house. Simply badass. Next up, I believe, also is a uh, double combo pack. Uh, sleepaway cap. Beautifully done. And on the, on the inside too also. And it does have a reversible artwork. Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. And this is the reversible artwork. It's kind of classic. That's what I have on there right now, the original. But if I did reverse it, I might use it with the shoe and the notebook because I thought that looks really, really badass. But I'm kind of liking the first one because it does have Angela's face on it. But uh, yeah, so it's a combo pack. Reversible artwork, beautifully done. Blu-ray and DVD. Sleepaway Camp. My sister does have the complete collection of the Sleepaway Camp. Um, I believe it's the uh, whole uh, collection. Also, Children of the Corn. One of my favorites, too. Also, I do have the rest of them inside of here. 666, Revelation, Fields of Terror. Um, I do also have all of them right inside of this one little jacket right here. Because I call it my ultimate Children of the Corn package. And uh, on the other side is where all of them are on there at. Let me move it over and show you guys what the rest of them are. It feels a terror. And all of them are on the side of here. And these are all with the rest of the Children of the Corn. So I kind of just put them all in one disc. And made a big ass Children of the Corn package. Beautifully done. Chosen in the corner. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Also got to have this on my 31 day. Got to have it. And uh, it's not reversible artwork. Just nothing special on the inside. Just the actual disc. Uh, Blu-ray version. So maybe they may do a still book or something of this later on where they have more artwork on and Children of Cats. Kevin Tini was an excellent director too also. So uh, I actually like the way how he set this up. So it's a uh, killer clowns from outer space. Okay, we have the uh, Friday 13th. Uh, new beginning. I also bring this out too. I also have the rest of the Friday 13th inside of this one, parts one through five, uh, inside of here. These are the only ones that I like out of the whole entire series, but I do have the rest of them here. Friday 13th for my 31 days of Halloween. Oktoberfest is what I call it. Getting down to the crim now. We have Phantasm. Boy. We have uh, one, two, three, four inside of here. In fact, actually, to all of them, too, also. The last one, um, Ravager. Then part four, we have Oblivion. Part three, Lord of the Dead. And then on and on and on. So, yeah, all of the Phantasms are here, too, also. And the Restoration one, too, the Restore one is the first one, which is also in here, too, also. Transfer is excellent. Another one of my favorites, guys, in my 31 Days of Halloween lineup is Trailer Park of Terror. Tell them Norma sent you. This is also one of my features, too, also. If you haven't seen this, guys, got to check it out. Trailer Park of Terror. Tell them Norma sent you. Nothing special inside, just the actual artwork lineup of the um, disc itself. But uh, I'll be happy to get a post of this if it's available. Trailer Park of Terror. Also rolled this on my Midnight Madness series too also. The stuff. I actually rolled this right behind uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So you talk about that retro 80s. We got the stuff.
beautifully done. I like that retro green color, yellow and green colors. Some simply badass stuff. Also moving down, this is a massive wheel, I tell y'all guys. But I stayed up all night re editing things and moving things around. So we got Worry Dolls, Demonic Toys 2, and Doll Graveyard. Now I do also have Doll Man 2 also. So uh, this is my ultimate doll package that I normally run for Halloween uh, 31 days. Then it's also not complete unless you have the Puppet Master Complete Collection too also. Beautifully done. It's one of them I really, really liked. I like that. Uh, I think it was um, Retro Puppets. Yeah, I think it was Retro Puppets. The whole thing rocks, but still, I mean, out of the whole thing, it was like one of my favorites too also. But that first disc ended up always coming out uh, over and over again. So. Puppet Master. My 31 Days. Oktoberfest. And as y'all guys all know, Bunny Man Massacre. I don't go anywhere without Bunny Man. Me to tell me he spelled that sign right. There it is. Bunny Man Massacre. For my 31 days Halloween. Bunny Man. Bunny Man's the shit. I fuck with Bunny Man. And then, guys, last but not least, we have Penny Dreadful. Short story anthology, too, also. Of uh, little short stories of tales. Beautifully done. Made with Jeffrey Combs. Says Penny. Which brings us back to our final shot, guys, of Might as well bring you all bring them all out if you're gonna kinda of do it, right? Alright, so my ultimate Night of Living Dead sequel package for my 31 days of Halloween. Guys, thank you for checking out my channel, Popcorn and Gold Grindhouse. Please subscribe. And if you are new to my channel, I bring out new releases every uh, other month, but because uh, I have already stuff I already got organized, I'm looking at building another shelf for my VHS. So uh, I'm busy on just editing in movies and working on my own short mini feature because I'm also an independent film director. So guys, thank you all for all your support, and uh, don't forget to click that button down there. And let me know I'm doing something good, and feel free to leave me a comment if y'all guys are new to the channel. Thanks for checking me out for Popcorn and Gore, and as always. They're coming to get you, Barbara.